Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Jump straight into this short and sweet little time lapse that I've got for you today with some vertical footage, which isn't annoying at all. It was taken from my Instagram story, which my Instagram will be linked in the description if you were so inclined to check out my full portfolio. But anyway, it didn't have a design process to show you today because there wasn't really much of a design process to be honest. It was literally just a picture of a fox and a picture of some flowers that I found on Pinterest, slapped them together and Bob's your uncle. At first I actually made the design with some different flowers in mind but when my client arrived on the day and I showed her the design, little to my knowledge, me being as uneducated as I am in British wildlife, the flowers I chose weren't from England so obviously they couldn't be used on a British wildlife themed sleeve. So we got head to head and found these flowers and she was happy we put them together and we just got started. As always I'm starting from the bottom and working my way up to the top obviously so I don't smudge my stencil but this time I don't always do this but we've got two main focuses of this tattoo. We've got the flowers, we've got the fox. Decided to split it into two and just complete each section as I go. So even here with the flowers, I'm doing all of my light tones and finishing with the white as well before moving on to the fox. I only decided to do that just because the wrist is quite a sore area. I wouldn't want to come back to it later in the day and it's just unnecessary pain. I thought I'd get it over and done with, wrap it up and then we can just forget about it. This was my first time tattooing a fox, well tattooing a fox portrait. I wouldn't dare to have a fox, that would be very illegal. But anyway, not that it makes a much difference from tattooing any animal, you just follow the reference of course, but what really makes the foxes a bit different, which I really enjoyed, really enjoyed the day, was just, was just a colour palette working with those browns and the really bright oranges, and I made sure to include the blue background, that turquoisey blue, just so you had that contrast between the orange and blue. I feel like it makes the whole piece pop, it was such a great reference to work from, had so much fun with it. I unfortunately wasn't able to finish it on the first day, just had another hour or so left to do, but my client had to catch a train. Not that it's a problem, this is as far as we got. Still looks almost done to be completely honest, it's not like I'd be unhappy walking around with that, looking unfinished. Three weeks later. So after some time for this tattoo to heal and settle in, we're back to put the details in the ears, didn't take too long, only around an hour. We had another tattoo to start after this, so we just got straight into that. I didn't feel like there was much in the way of touch-ups that were needed on this piece. It's healed really, really well. Super happy with it, so I'll just leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.